In this tutorial, I'll cover the basics of Onshape assemblies for use in the Write It Cat It challenge. Let's start by identifying the different parts of an Onshape assembly. In the middle of the screen is the graphic area. This is where the assembly you create will be displayed. Near the top right is the view cube. The view cube is a helpful way to look at your assembly from different perspectives. Along the top is the assembly toolbar. This is where all of the assembly commands, such as insert, mates, and more, are located. Above the assembly toolbar is the document toolbar. This is where things like the document name, the share button, and the help button are located. Along the left side of the screen is the instance list. This list will contain every part that has been inserted into the assembly. Below the instance list is the mate features list. This list will contain every mate that is defining your assembly. Along the bottom of the window are the different tabs in the document. This is how you can switch between instructions, a part studio, an assembly, and more. The first step in building an assembly is inserting your parts. To do this, click the insert command in the top toolbar. The insert parts and assemblies dialog box will appear. It will default to the current Onshape document and the part studios within it. This document only has one part studio, which contains all of the necessary parts. Now, select what you'd like to insert into the assembly. Click on a single part or multiple parts to have them appear. You can also click on the part studio to insert all of the parts at once. The parts will insert where you click your mouse in the graphic area. If you stay within the dialog box, the parts will insert at the origin. Once your parts are inserted, it's time to define how they attach to each other. To define a part's position relative to other parts, we use mates and mate connectors. A mate connector is a local coordinate system for a part. The blue axis, which is the Z axis, is considered the primary axis for mates. Many mate connectors are inferred on your part and will automatically appear at vertices, midpoints, the center of a hole, and more. The parts you're assembling may have some explicit mate connectors that are always visible. If you'd like to hide or show these, press the K key. Mates will define how two mate connectors interact. Mates are located in the assembly toolbar. Once you choose a mate from the assembly toolbar, you will need to select two mate connectors on different parts. It's important to say that in almost all cases, you will only need one mate to define how two parts interact. If you'd like to see the mates you've used in your assembly so far, press the H key. The most important mate in Onshape is the Fasten mate. The Fasten mate will remove all degrees of freedom between two parts and align their Z axes normal to each other. Let's use a Fasten mate on these two parts to show how it works. To create a Fasten mate, click on the icon in the assembly toolbar or click the M key. The mate dialog box will pop up. The selection box will be light blue and will accept two mate connectors as an input. To select a mate connector, hover over the part and the area that you'd like to connect. Onshape will show the implicit mate connectors available for that part. It's important to note that there can be multiple mate connectors for a given point. For example, I can have the primary axis for this vertex point towards the right plane or towards the front plane depending on the face I'm hovering over. Let's select two mate connectors and see that the two parts will snap together. With the parts together, this fasten mate can be completed by pressing the green check mark or hitting the enter key. If we want to make modifications to it, we can do that in the dialog box. At the bottom of the dialog box, clicking the two arrows will flip how the primary axes align. The circular arrow directly to the right will rotate the mate 90 degrees about the z-axis. Finally, clicking the checkbox for offset will allow you to enter x, y, and z translational offsets. If a series of mates cannot be solved, the mates will turn red. It's important to make sure that the series of mates you create don't overdefine the assembly. By trying to fasten this connector to two different holes, I've overdefined the assembly and need to delete one of the mates. That wraps up this quick beginner's guide to assembling parts in Onshape. 
Best of luck with your Write It, Cat It challenge.